Hey, my name is Sir Kev, and as many may know, I was born in America. And if you know like I do, American snacks are not built for consumption. American snacks are built to destroy, maim, kill, and stuff. With living in America, we have to deal with a lot of this crap. High gas prices, politics, grocery stores acting like they're crazy, charging $13.49 for two chicken breasts, and just the overall saturated fat GMO and sodium content, a lot of calories in a lot of these American snacks and food items. Prepackaged, canned, whatever. With that being said, I had a few friends over in the UK send me some international snacks from their local shops. So they challenged me to try to guess where they come from, you know, where they originate from, and to also, you know, try them out for, for the first time because, you know, I've never had anything like this. Like, what is a Jaffa cake? Anyway, let's get into these snacks. Yorkshire Gold. I can't even say it in my American accent. I have to only say it in my uh, uh, English accent, which is Yorkshire Gold. Now, Yorkshire Gold is simply a, t uh, uh, a, a, a tea company. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. Uh, they're simply a, t a tea company made in, in, I'm not gonna look at it, I'm not gonna look at it. My, my job is to guess where it's from. Judging that it says Yorkshire, yeah, I'm gonna guess that it's York, it's Yorkshire, England. I butchered that entire accent. Yorkshire Gold is simply one of my favorite tea brands to ever hit the face of the planet. I've had Lipton, I've had, you know, store brand teas, but this Yorkshire Gold, this black tea here, it will get you right. Either Yorkshire Gold or Yorkshire Red. Look, I drink this on a day-to-day -day basis. I wake up every morning, I drink a cup full. This cup. I drink a cup full every morning just to make sure I'm starting my day right because this will literally put you in the Christmas spirit. Let me tell you something. I usually do about two to three bags per cup just to make sure, because I like mine a little strong. I like my tea to have a little to it. You know what I'm saying? This comes from Yorkshire, England, and it's now time to make a good cup of tea. Now, most Americans tend to microwave their water when, when, when in actuality, you're supposed to boil it because um, the microwave doesn't create the proper brew on the on the tea bag. So you're always supposed to have a kettle or a pot with your water in it and you know microwaving it is just a lazy way of doing it. And you know we as Americans we always love the quick and easy way. So hey, it's always good to be a little bit, you know, uh, fancy and in, in these type of uh, scenarios and things like that. So I'm gonna let this boil, I'm gonna let this burn a little bit and uh, I'll come back to you when it's done. You already know I had the Spider-Man mug, man. Come on now, I gotta have fun in, in everything you do. You know, Spider-Man is my favorite. Anywho, my water is done boiling, so what you wanna do, you wanna pour it, uh, you know, majority of it, and leave about an inch at the top because the proper way to drink your tea is to add milk to it. And I learned that from my British friends who do drink Yorkshire Gold and things like that. So, now we take our tea bag, tea bags, I like mine a little bit strong. You can use one, but I like two. So what you can do is just let that sit there and brew because the water is piping hot. And if you're uh, if you're lazy like I am, and if you don't like to wait, what you can do, grab yourself a stir or a spoon and just get to mixing. And you see how everything just, uh, you know, congratulates each other. Congratulates? Congratu congratulations is not the word I was looking for, but you know, they get together, they, you know, they, uh, converse for lack of a better word you know what i mean all right now that they're thoroughly acquainted we introduce our milk so today i'm using almond milk usually i would use oat milk but they didn't have any at my local shop so here we are with almond milk either way still gonna work out fine so what you want to do is just pour a little just so you can't see that color change now this is where the magic happens take your stir now as, as you can tell i left the tea back in Tea back, tea back. <laughs> I left the tea bag in. That way I can control the color of my tea. And the more I stir it, the thicker it becomes. And when you're in this type of scenario, you want a syrupy like like drink with your Yorkshire Gold. So yeah, when you're done with your color, take out your tea bags and toss them in the bin. I personally got into the habit of drinking it black, you know, without any sugars or honey or anything like that because it's just that rich in flavor and it's just that good. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be condoning this on any other occasion than right now. 
I'm telling you, you got to get you some of this Yorkshire Gold or Yorkshire Red, wherever you can find it. You got to find it on Amazon. Do it. Go for it. I'm, I'm begging you to, please. Being that I've already tasted Yorkshire Gold, it's, it's, it's a given that this is just the best cup of tea you will ever have in your life. Indeed, indeed. Overall rating, 32 out of what? Out of 10, 32 out of 10. Why is the camera falling? Ah, I keep on falling. Yorkshire Gold, really, again? Bruh. Now, this makes a great segue into my next guest, which are guests. <laughs> Get out of here. Stroop waffles. All right, now I've never had them, but I hear a lot of my UK friends talk a lot about them and how good they are and how good they go with a cup of tea. So without further ado, we have the chocolate Stroop waffle. You can see it. And we have the caramel or caramel as the Americans would say. And basically a Stroop waffle or are, is basically a soft toasted chocolate waffle filled with caramel or caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. Now that sounds like a good mixture to me. So without further ado, a lot like a cookie. She smells amazing though. She smells gorgeous. I wonder if the light can hit it. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, she looks great. Oh, they are soft. Oh. The chocolate is very, very rich, very, very authentic. It doesn't taste like something that was made in a lab. It doesn't taste like something that was made from a shoe. It genuinely tastes like I'm eating a bar of chocolate with caramel in it, kind of like a Milky Way. I don't know if uh, you know the UK has that, but I would say like a Milky Way. It definitely feels a lot more robust and it feels like it, it should cost more than it did. Right, and on to the caramel. Onto the caramel. So it's caramel inside of caramel, right? It says two soft toasted waffles filled with caramel or caramel, cinnamon, and a real bourbon and vanilla. She got a little stank on her. She's a little, she a little funky. Okay. She don't even want to come apart. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fight her. Ooh, hold on. Open up, open up. Uh, look at her, look at her. Look at her just fighting me, fighting me. I said open. There you go. Good enough, I'll take it. This one is even better. Anyway. These, we Americans have. I've seen this before, I've had this before as a child. I will challenge the guess where this is from. You look at it and you tell me where you think it's from. I mean, hold on, let me get in the frame here. Now you, you look at it and you tell me where it's from. I'm thinking this, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's a carrot. I'm, I'm thinking. I think it's a, I think it's a, I think it's a carrot, uh, carrot, but, uh, uh, I don't know about carrots. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, I don't know much about that. It looks like it's from, definitely from the United Kingdom. Wrong. England. Final answer. Hands down. Boom. Good job, genius. Good job. It says 100% made in Italy. A delicious creamy bite at your fingertip. One is never enough. 66% cream filling. No hydrogenated fats. No hy hydrogenated, hydro hydrogenated, hydrogenated, hydrogenated. Oh my God, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. No hydrogenated fats. No artificial flavors. No artificial colors. Oh, okay. Fancy. See, this is what I'm, this is packed. This is packaging. This is what I'm talking about. It feels like I'm about to go visit Willy Wonka himself, Johnny Depp himself, Amber Heard herself. Anyway, look at the material, man. Material man. I'm gonna bring back my tea. I'm gonna take a swig to clean my palate. I'm sorry, that was more of a gulp. I just really love this. Sugary, sweet. Pure. Let me show you something. Dip it in your cup of tea or coffee. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Indeed. Absolutely. So it seems that I've run short on time, but I'll give you the opportunity to pick which one I choose next. All you have to do now is just pick whatever video I have laid out on the screen here, and you just pick whatever one you want to watch, and we'll go on from there. Okay? Cool. Got it? You know, all you gotta do is just press it. You know, it's, just, it's there. You know, this video is right there, maybe, and then another one is up and through here. And it's maybe like a tool over there. Then might be a subscribe button right here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll check it out. Um, but make sure you, you know you hit it. Hit it and hit like before you leave. Hit the like button if you're not already subscribed. Subscribe. Hit it, love it, live it, we're good, have a good day, and pick the video right now. Cool, bye, cool, bye, okay, cool, okay, all right, bye, later. Cool, love you, okay, okay, drink some tea, you should go, make sure you get something in your life, cool, right, all right, bye, later.